Today's lesson is on multiplying and dividing fractions. Fractions are everybody's favorite. Now, this is a review from previous years. Um, so, well, you know what? Let's dive in. For the main idea, you're not going to copy it. You are only going to watch. So, when you're multiplying fractions, you're finding parts of parts. Or parts plus some, if you're thinking of, you know, whole numbers or mixed numbers or things like that. So, think about it in terms of pi. If I have half of a pie remaining, that would never happen. I would eat the entire pie in one sitting. Well, let's pretend like I have half of a pie remaining. And I am going to find half of that. Then that means I'm going to half what's remaining. And I only end up with one fourth of the original pie. What this looks like mathematically is I have half of a half. I changed my denomination. Instead of working with halves, I'm not working with fourths but I'm still only keeping one piece of the pie. I multiply straight across my numerators and my denominators. So let's apply that in example one. In example one, you're gonna copy it along with me. I multiply straight across. Three times two is six, eight times nine is 72. Now this is kind of difficult to simplify I mean, not super difficult, but a little. And you get up with 1 12th. You don't have to solve it this way, though. The alternative, well, not a 2, but a 3, is if I have 3 eighths times 2 ninths, I can do this thing called cross-simplifying, cross where I simplify diagonally within the problem. I divide my numerator by 3 and my denominator by 3. And then I divide my numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2. And I still end up with the same answer. Just instead of waiting to the end to divide out that 3 and that 2 or divide out 6 altogether, I'm dividing it within the problem. So let's try that on B. Now, before I multiply these, they need to be improper fractions or just numerators, denominators, because I don't think there's anything improper about them. So instead of multiplying 12 and 5 and 5 and 4, let's cross simplify. My numerator, I can divide by 5, and my denominator, I can divide by 5. And then with the 12 and 4, they're both divisible by 4. My numerator divided by 4 is 3. My denominator divided by 4 is 1. Now when I multiply, I get 3 over 1, which is 3. So here's another main idea, meaning you don't need to copy this one. You're just going to watch. Let's give an overview. Let's say I have that still half a pie and I'm going to share. Again, this is what we call fantasy. I don't share food. But we have that half a pie and we're going to divide it three ways. Now what I'm talking about with dividing it three ways is I'm going to figure out how much each person would get. And that would be one of these slivers. See, I'm taking that half and dividing by three, which is really taking that half, whoops, and finding a third of it. So in the end, I end up with a sixth of the original pie. One out of six. When you have a division problem that's a fraction like this, Instead of dividing by three over one, I'm gonna multiply its reciprocal because it gives me the same answers and I only have to continue to hold on to those rules for multiplication in my head. So let's look at example two. I have eight fifteenths, but instead of dividing two ninths, I multiply the reciprocal nine over two. Then I can do that cross simplification that I did with multiplying. Eight and two are both divisible by two. My numerator divided by 2 is 4. My denominator divided by 2 is 1. And then 9 and 15 are both divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So when I finish multiplying this out, I end up with 12 fifths, which is 2 and 2 fifths. For B, I have to first make them improper fractions before I do any flipping, any reciprocals. This is 12 fifths divided by 3 over 1. Now, I rewrite the first number, 12 fifths, 
and I multiply the reciprocal to one third. I can simplify within this problem because the 12 and the three are both divisible by three. So numerator divided by three is four, denominator divided by three is one. That gives me four fifths as my final answer. Here's two problems for you to try. So first, you pause the video. Second, you're gonna actually try the problems on your own without me walking you through them. And then third, you're gonna play to check them. So once you play and check them, if you get them wrong, I think it's helpful to rewind back to the beginning to the blank slate and see if you can reproduce what you just watched. So good luck, pause and try them. All right, if you are ready to go over those answers, I first need improper fractions. That's eight fifths multiplied by five fourths. I can cross simplify to get two and one and one and one, giving me two over one, which is two as a whole number. For B, that's 11 halves divided by three over one. I multiply the reciprocal, and there isn't anything to cross simplify here. So I end up with 11 sixths, which is one and five sixths. 